Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my YouTuber pet peeves. So this video I'm going to be talking about things that certain YouTubers do that really just kind of grind my gears. So <laughs> uh, I'm not doing this to be mean or malicious. I'm just sharing my own personal opinion and just a couple things that kind of drive me crazy on YouTube. I probably do things that drive other people crazy, but everyone's different. Everyone has their own opinions. I'm just going to be ranting and sharing my pet peeves with you. I'm not going to be mentioning any names or anything like that. This isn't a video to pick on other YouTubers. We're all in the YouTube community together. We should all respect each other as one. We should all, you know, just be civil with each other. But I just get a little crazy sometimes. So without further ado, here are my YouTuber pet peeves. Number one is no video ideas. And what I mean by that is some YouTubers who you know, used to upload frequently and then, you know, life happened and they just stop uploading and the only time they upload is to tell people that they don't have video ideas. Like, ah! If you don't have any video ideas, don't upload at all! Hey guys, so I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, but I just wanted to come on here and say I just don't have any video ideas, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! It drives me nuts. Like, if you don't have any video ideas, just don't upload. Just wait till you get an idea and then upload that. You get people excited to see your video, they missed you so much, and then it's a two minute video of you saying you don't have any video ideas. Really now? Number two is people who do not film or edit their own videos. What I mean by that is sometimes when someone, and I can kind of understand this, when someone has a lot of subscribers, they have their own professional camera crew and they have a professional editor. I mean, fine, do you. But me personally, I think the, like, the fun thing about YouTube is filming your own video and editing your own video and making it super personal and fun for your subscribers. It's a weird complaint, but it just kind of does. I just feel like I just feel like I should be getting content from you, which you filmed and edited. Number three is a conceited attitude. The number one thing you see with certain beauty gurus or whatever is out there, whatever they're called, um, is once they hit a certain amount of subscribers, they start to get really kind of cocky and really just kind of full of themselves. And what I mean by that is like, you know, they're totally cool and real. And then when they hit like 1 million subscribers or 2 million subscribers, they just completely lose themselves and they think they're a celebrity. Like, sweetheart, you're not a celebrity. You're just a YouTuber. Like, that's freaking awesome that you hit that many subscribers. Like, that's a huge accomplishment. Don't get me wrong, some YouTubers do stay true to themselves and they keep staying real, but some of them, they hit a certain amount and they just feel like they're queen. I don't know, or king, whatever. It's just like, calm down. You're not famous, you're just a YouTuber. So just fucking take a step back and just evaluate yourself for a minute. Number four, sponsored videos. I know this is kind of a big thing on YouTube. Not a lot of people like sponsored videos. People leave a lot of hate comments on people who get sponsored videos. And I just feel like that whole situation needs to be kind of cleared up. Sponsored videos are different from review videos. For example, I have never done a sponsored video. No company has ever sent me a product and said, if you do a video on this, we will pay you. I'm not sponsored by anybody. No, not at all. Yes, I have been sent stuff for a review before, but I've never been compensated for that. If you have never seen them use a product before, and then all of a sudden they come out with this video talking about something, and they say how much they love it and how often they use it, blah, 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 and then you never see them use it again. That's the thing I hate about sponsored videos and YouTubers who do sponsored videos. What are you doing? I've never seen you use that product before. You use it once in this video, and then you never use it again in future videos. I mean, granted, don't get me wrong, they, they might they might in their actual life when they're not filming. But don't say you're gonna use it in future videos and things like that, and then don't. That just kind of makes it look like you did this for the, your, your check. I just, just kind of drives me nuts. I don't know, and <laughs> I have no issue with sponsored video. Like, if I have a YouTuber in my subscription box and it's a sponsored video, I don't care, I'll watch it, but it's just kind of a little irky to tell if they actually use it or they don't, you know what I mean? And final number five. My YouTuber pet peeve number five is people who only upload every few months. Now, when you're subscribed to someone and they have kind of like a small channel that they're building and they upload very, very frequently 
and then once they reach a certain amount, like if they reach like 100,000 or whatever number it is and they just stop and only upload like once every two months or once every month, like that just drives me nuts. Like you, en you engage your audience so much by uploading so frequently and then instead of just kind of slowing it down, you just abruptly stop and then just upload every few months. Again, don't get me wrong, something might have happened, either health reasons or family issues or just something really personal outside and they had to stop, that's totally fine. But if they're just, you know, and again, you can kind of tell, I don't know, you can just kind of tell, you can just tell when people just stop and they're just like, oh, I'll upload once a month and that'll get me ready for the next month. They reach a certain number and they get a certain amount of views, they just stop and only upload every couple of months to keep their channel somewhat active. Okay everyone, so that is everything for my YouTuber pet peeves video. I only had five of them, but that's just how I truly feel sometimes when I'm on YouTube and I'm just watching certain people. These just things kind of come to my head and I was like, I'm gonna make a video on this. I'm just gonna kind of share my opinions with everyone else. Again, this isn't a video to fight about. It's just an opinion. It's just something fun to put up on my channel. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with any of my little pet peeves. And, you know, maybe I do something that annoys someone out there. So, I mean, go ahead and feel free to share that if you want to. But yeah, that's everything I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, well, then that's fine too. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye!